Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a new campaign. Or a, well, a restarted campaign. I did start the Woodland Realm, but I decided to restart it on the standard version. And here we are, Woodland Realm, we're playing as the elves, I love the elves, we're playing very hard, very hard. Feel free to read this text here if you would like to. There we go, I'm excited. Uh, as I was previously as well, but uh, yeah, elves, I do love them. And I also decided to make an intro for this campaign. I hope that you liked it. Uh, I received a comment uh, telling me that I should be making some intros again like I did in the good old Gondo campaign. And uh, his words moved me, so I decided to make an intro. Thank you for that suggestion. We're back with an intro again on the campaign. And also, um, if you want to leave a like and if we get to 1k likes I will make a long episode if you don't want to leave a like then that's okay it doesn't matter we're gonna play nonetheless so it doesn't really matter but if you want to support the channel you're free to do so very hard very hard let's go in let's start this campaign a massive thank you to Sunder artwork for creating the character in the thumbnail of this campaign Check out her art in the description down below. Links to her Tumblr page and Instagram page are over there. Massive thank you to Sunder Artwork. Welcome to the campaign map. And welcome to Thranduil's kingdom, the Woodland Realm. This is the welcoming message on version 5. You guys have seen this one a lot of times before. If you're new to the channel or if you're new to version 5, then read this one. This is quite the important message. I'm gonna scroll it down for you. There we go. Wonderful. Thranduil's Realm. Scrolling it down for you as well. Feel free to read this message. There we go. Yavana's Union. We are going to pursue the union between our kin and ourselves. Uh, we're going to try and make sure that we can fight together. Celeborn and Haldir will be commanders in our own nation later when we make sure that the, that the alliance happens. So we are going to pursue the alliance in this campaign, definitely. Uh, alliance announced. Orcs of Gunnabad, Dol Guldur, Angmar, Moria and war declared. Gundabad and the Anduin Vale. Okay, let's take a look. What do we have? What do we start off with? Taur Filin. In here we have the prince, the faction heir to the kingdom of the Woodland Realm, or the Woodland Kingdom. Legolas. Let's move him out from the settlement, let's take a look at him. Great commander, loyalty is high, acumen is decent, uh, renown not that great yet, but uh, it's going to be better when we fight with them. Commander of the Wardens, first commander of the Sylvan Armies, Legolas Knife, Though Legolas is more keen on fighting from afar with his bow, he is fierce and skillful in close fight, where he uses his long and wide knife. Silme. May the light of Erendil, our most beloved star, guide the faction heir on his path to victory, public happiness and troop morale. This is going to be one of the key players in this campaign, of course, Prince Legolas. He brings with him the Hini Daur, 14 attack, 12 missile attack, 15 total defense. These guys fire body piercing arrows and they can kill multiple targets with one um, arrow. So, wonderful unit. Doesn't have the most missiles, but trust me, they will get more kills than any other archer in the game, even though they have far less uh, missiles than the regular archer. They're insane. Um, movement speed 120%, uh, accuracy exceptional, so yeah, totally glorious unit. Absolutely wonderful <laughs> to have them this early. And, and in Taur Filin we have some more units. Woodland Spearmen, uh, Mythoritha Wire, 13 attack, 17 defense, uh, really good. Pretty damn expensive in the upkeep, 450, uh, 320 on this unit. We do have a fort over there that we are going to use. Let's send these guys in there, into the fort, make them free upkeep for now. Uh, we are going to try and pursue going after Emma uh, straight away. We need to expand our borders, 
as quickly as possible uh, taking this region is the first objective we have another region over there as well that we want to try and go after we are going to uh, use Legolas along with Thranduil when we take uh, these two regions but after we've taken those regions I'm thinking we were likely going to send Legolas over to this area he is going to be the commander leading us our forces against Gundabad and Thranduil is going to be the king and he's gonna lead us as the great king that he is against Dol Guldur. We could uh, group them together but they are really really powerful so uh, just to get a bit of flavor in this uh, campaign we're gonna use the commanders in two fronts. We are going to fight a two-front war here and we need a stable commander in every front. So there we go, that's the plan at least. But for the beginning turns, Legolas is definitely going to help with uh, taking these rebel regions. In the capital we have our king, Thranduil. Let's take him out. Let's take a look at him. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to pronounce this. Aran en Laikwa Taure. Uh, two authority, two renown, one public happiness. Emeralds of Girion. Gideon was the last king of Dale before it was destroyed by the dragon Smog. He gave these emeralds to the dwarfs of Erebo to adorn a fine suit of armor. After the Battle of Five Armies in 2941, King Dane gave them to Bard the Bowman, who in turn gifted them to the woodland king, Thranduil. Authority, public happiness, trade, unrest. Some great retinues to begin with. Here we have the biography of uh, Thranduil. He's an elf, he's a cinder, house of Orofer, faction leader, he has the special ability, uh, swiftness, it's a good ability, he's attractive, <laughs> War of the Lancer, yeah, it's a good guy, this guy, he's been around for quite some time, he's been around, lived for ages, yeah, minus one to hit points, but he should have a lot of hit points. Full authority, almost full renown, pretty decent commander, we should be able to get him up to 10 command stars, Acumen is at 4. He's a good guy, and he brings with him the mighty, mighty Ared Hirith. 16 mil attack, missile attack of 11, 26 total defense. Uh, they have axes, which are effective against armor. 32 missiles, range of 215 meters, accuracy very high. This is a monster hybrid unit. Amazing archers, amazing melee fighters, effective against armor. They can bring down Ologai, they can bring down a lot of things true killers from the woodland realm and one of the most the best looking unit almost in the entire faction I would say a really cool unit absolutely and we're gonna use them to great effect hopefully uh, these guys are free upkeep in here how about uh, we're going to want to lay siege to Emenufuin as quickly as possible of course um, should we get you into the fort just for a turn I think so Thranduil's Halls. What do we begin with? We are going to go after the Builder's Hall straight away. Let's just take a look and see how much money we're going to earn from the Grain Exchange. Trade, a bit of increase, a bit of increase in the buildings as well. How about the farms? Uh, not Nothing major. We are going to begin with the Builder's Hall and we're likely going to begin with the Builder's Hall over at Daur Filin as well. Let's go for the Builder's Hall here. Prince Legolas, I want you to march over there. We need you to help us when we do go after Emenufuin. Okay, that's the buildings. We have a lot of money still in the bank. We are going to do some recruitment um, in this first turn. Woodland Wardens, these are javelin units. 8 uh, javelin attack, 13 defense, 7 attack. Decent melee fighters in the early game. 3 missiles, 65 meters range. Movement speed of 114%, uh, really good unit. We're going to recruit one of those. And we are going to get an additional archer as well. Woodland Scouts, uh, 6 missile attack, glass cannons, 5 melee attack, 8 total defense. They can actually get destroyed on a cavalry charge. Uh, so these guys are early glass cannons for the Woodland Realm. Let's get one of those as well. 20 missiles, 180 meters range, uh, movement speed of 120. Uh, good units, absolutely. Glass cannons, really good. They can get a lot of kills. Get them. Okay, that's recruitment. Tower fill in. Can we get a recruitment here? Yes, we can. Uh, likely going to go for the same here. Wardens and Scouts. Get both of them. One thing, we have these Woodland Warriors as well. Good melee fighters of 9 attack and 13 defense. Uh, sadly, 
not effect effective against armor. They can be used to flanking and those kinds of things. The main front line of our force is going to be the Woodland Spearmen, definitely. 15 attack, 7 attack, uh, 15 defense and 7 attack, sorry. Uh, movement speed of 114%, and they can make the shield wall. This is the thing that makes them far better than what the stats say. Uh, the shield wall will make them hold the line five times longer than without the shield wall. So the fact that they can make the shield wall really boosts them so much. And they are going to be the main front line for quite some time. Uh, we should absolutely try and get them as well. Uh, we have a spy here. Uh, send him down south. Erindolen, this is the one. This is the castle. Would like to try and grab this one as well as quickly as possible. Uh, get the spy down further. We should also maybe look into getting a diplomat and uh, get one of those. I am not sure yet uh, where we want to be aggressive and where we want to be offensive. Uh, because we're playing as the Woodland Realm, let's take a look. Uh, King's Purse, 1250. Uh, we are not going to earn too much money. We won't be able to play aggressive on two fronts. I'm thinking the best front to play defensively on is likely going to be here. Erin Dolan. Uh, I think this is a region that will border Dol Guldur, but it's going to be the only region that borders Dol Guldur. So if we can defend against Dol Guldur here and play aggressively against Gundabad over here, it should work out pretty well, I think. If Dol Guldur can only attack me in one region, we should be able to hold um, quite well. And this is a castle as well, so the towers will be majestic. The towers are going to do an insane amount of damage. So there we go. That is the first turn completed. Let us end the turn and let us look forward to the journey. The mighty journey that we're about to have as the Woodland Realm. We are on a quest to cleanse the forest of evil. And also, one thing, can't quite remember the commenter that made the comments. We could potentially play around the fact that we are quite uh, uh, selfish, uh, or selfish. Uh, we're we're going to play, we want to maybe take control over the forest only. And that's the places where we can grab settlements in. The Mirkwood region, and of course... Um, the regions of Lothlorien we can take if we decide to make the Union happen. And maybe some bordering territories, uh, for example, uh, Brown Boats, uh, that region. So, we can only take regions in the Mirkwood Forest. And we can take some of the bordering regions. Maybe the region that is over here, and maybe this one over there, Achnorion, and those kinds of regions. The, the regions that are bordering the Mirkwood Forest. And if we do the alliance, we will of course take Lothlorien and maybe we will be able to take some bordering regions of Lothlorien as well. But if we fight Gundamad for example, uh, we might want to make it so that uh, we cannot take those regions. For example, if we take this region here, we can take it and destroy it, but we have to give it to an ally, for example Erebor or something. I don't know what you think about that rule. I think it is Pretty cool. Let me know what you think. I'm not sure that I'm going to implement it. That's only that's likely going to be the only rule that I will implement in the campaign. Um, if I do implement a rule. Let me know what you think about it. End of turn report. Production number 11. We're almost in the last spot in everything else. 5,300 gold coins in the bank. We're having some free upkeep with him. He's costing us a lot of money. Yeah, we are going to make sure that we have enough forces when we take Emin Nufuin. Legolas, Come, can you actually reach? Yeah, let's just elves. be sure that we can Assemble. besiege it. Get one ram. Thranduil. Come, my Reinforce. Reinforce and we are going to take both of these units out as well. Hopefully, this is going to be enough to take Emin Nufuin. Uh, Quite the large army, actually. It's actually quite huge. Uh, we have a lot of archers. Uh, it's the, the units that they have inside are not that great, but they have a lot of them. 
So we need to be on the lookout here. But we have two really powerful commanders that should be able to aid us uh, through this. These guys will be finished in one turn. And these guys will be finished in one turn as well. Spy, go farther down. Erin Runen, they have some forces inside there. It's one of the Dolguldur locations. Gund, oh my goodness, are they already going aggressive? Are they gonna go for the fort straight away? They're actually standing on the border. Oh, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, this might be a bit scary. If they attack the fort, I kind of want to have these spears in there as well. Uh, we are getting more units anyways, so we are going to send these woodland spearmen into the fort. Um, one decent frontline combatant and one decent axe unit, the Maithorith Wide and a powerful archer. Hopefully they should be able to defend if Gundabad decides to attack the fort. We're getting more units there, so it doesn't feel too scary. Okay, let's end the second turn. There's gonna be a lot of ending turns in the early game here. We do not control the largest kingdom in the game, so there is not too many things we can do uh, each turn. I really hope that the rebels do sally out though, because I want to take Emin Nufuin as quickly as possible. Oh, I forgot about one thing as well. We are going to receive as well. Uh, if we take four regions and uh, ten turns have passed, we will get an additional commander. Um, Orthordir will join us and he should be a welcome welcome boost when we do receive him. We are definitely going to need him. Captain Goroth is attacking King Thranduil of the Woodland Realm and he brings with him archers, basic orc trash and actually a Mirkwood bodyguard. Fort attack, 18 defense and axe throwers. We need to try and take these guys out first because they can actually do some damage to us. But there we go. First battle of the campaign. Let's take out these disgusting rebels. Fight to the end. They are selling forth, so the battle starts immediately. Let's just pause quickly and take a look at the units. Beginning with the most majestic unit of all, the Arid Hirith. And here we have Thranduil himself. Look at these bad boys. Look at them. So badass looking units. Possibly the coolest unit in the entire roster. If you ask me, look at the armor, look at the helmets and the design, look at the huge axes that they have. Such a cool unit. Uh, we have the Woodland Scouts here. You have seen them before. Nice unit. Really, class cannon early tier unit. Uh, we have the Hinidao that has already begun firing their missiles. Uh, <laughs> cool unit as well. Assassins. And the faces kind of looks like a Legolas face. So, and a battalion of Legolases. Right there. And we have the Woodland Spearman, of course. The shield walling giant that is the Woodland Spearman. Spearman, yeah, good unit as well. Uh, let's unpause and let's drop the ram. And if you can stop firing for now, same with you. Woodland Spearman, I don't know, stand over here, go in shield wall and block this area. Go for shield wall as well. Archers, uh, stand over here maybe. Run into position. We shall see. They're quite grouped up here. Uh, maybe we can get some good cheeky shots off with Legolas. Maybe uh, we can get some extra damage done here. I certainly hope we are. Let's fast forward a bit. Let the archers get into position. You should have a really long range. We can fire down over there. Let's try and fire down over there. Let's see how much damage we can do with the Hinidar. Can you reach? Uh, you can reach over there. Okay, fire that. Nah, you have a lot of ammunition. How about you? You can, yeah, fire the Dolgalur host. Okay, the Merc Bodyguard is actually approaching us straight. Okay, you know what? Archers, I want all of you to focus down the Merc Bodyguard uh, because they have their commander in here. He's over there. Let's destroy this unit first. Come on, guys. Uh, switch focus to the Bodyguards. Destroy these guys. We don't want them to throw their axes. There we go, we're firing at them, we're getting a lot of damage done to them. Keep going. Really would like to assassinate their commander. Yeah, we're definitely weakening them. They're getting some axes thrown though at my spears. 
Um, yeah, they're getting a few kills with those axes. Yeah, they're beginning to to move out from the settlement. We need to maybe focus on these guys soon, but I really would like to assassinate this guy before the battle begins. It's going to make everything so much easier. We should be able to break their forces so easily. It almost thought we killed the general there, but I think this is the commander. Nine guys remaining. We can do it. Okay, come on. Legolas, I want you to focus on something else. Focus in the blob instead now. Let these two units destroy their commander. We don't need body piercing shots here anymore. Yeah, Dolgildur archers. Yeah, they're really piling up here. They have a lot of units. We need to start focusing on these guys. Come on, get him killed. He's the only guy alive. Surely we should be able to kill him soon. Come on. There we go, he's dead. Glorious. Okay, we can now focus on the blob. The main blob. Fire in the main blob, all of you. And just destroy everything. I'm a bit worried, actually, because luckily for us, they, they haven't moved everyone out of the settlement yet. But they have a lot of units. They could definitely swamp us if they wanted to. But they're just standing here doing nothing. So we're just going to take advantage of this and get as many kills on them as possible. Look at this. Look at the amount of dead bodies already. Let's see if we can see uh, Legolas. He's firing his volley. Getting a huge amount of, of kills. <laughs> yeah, these guys are so powerful. We've killed 21% of the enemy army. And as long as they're not moving out, we can just empty our quivers on them and do maximum damage. Yeah, we're getting so many kills on them here. It's going to be interesting to see how many kills we did get on the enemy. We're likely going to use Legolas in melee um, after he's done with his arrows. Maybe use these guys as frontline and then try and flank with the Hinidaur behind the enemy lines. We could try and do that. We don't want to risk his life though. We definitely don't want to risk his life. Uh, we need him to be alive for the entirety of the campaign. I don't want a single one of these guys to die. Thranduil and Legolas needs to stay alive at all times. They're so valuable. They're so important for us. So we need to keep them alive. Everyone is still not even out yet, so just keep on firing at the enemy. Let's fast forward a bit. You're out of ammunition. These guys will soon be out of ammunition as well. Thranduil has a lot of ammunition still. Just let him fire. Let him fire. They're firing back at us. They actually got a kill on one of the Arid Hedith units, units there. Mirkwood Hunters, Dolgudr Archers. Yeah, they have some archers firing at us. You guys can back off a bit now. You're done with your shots anyways. Let uh, Thranduil do the firing on the enemy. We have two special abilities as well. Swiftness. We're going to try and use those. Still haven't done a single thing yet. We need to play aggressively on them. But they're soon out. They, 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 they still have a few guys remaining. Uh, but once those guys are out, they should start trying to do something against us, hopefully. They're firing at Legolas. Kite back a bit. Oh, they're, yeah, they're getting a few kills on him. He's quite the glass cannon. Here we go. They're finally doing something. And we are out of ammunition. Spears. You are going to be the main front line. Get back. Legolas, we're going to use you because you will replenish. And we're going to use you as well. Spears are about to fight the Dol Guldur host. We have killed 55% of the enemy army this far. Uh, just take out these orc fighters. Thranduil, I want you to try and silence those archers. I'm going to use you as well, actually. Take this way here. Take the flanking way. Uh, pop the ability. Yeah, we're taking a bunch of losses here because of their archers. Legolas, I want you to do the same. Move here and silence those archers. They're actually doing a bit of damage to me. So get over here. Start fighting those guys. And silence them. Look at how fast these guys are. Oh my lord. They're wavering. Pop the ability. And attack. They were broken straight away. Thranduil, it looks like we're seeing some kind of a chain route here. If you flank these guys in the back, we might be able to just break them as well. Total chain routes happening here. 
flank these guys in the back and we might be able to break them as well. Take a look at these mighty axes, they're destroying every orc that is coming for them. Let's flank this force, they are broken as well. Excellent work, let's try and break the entire army before they reach the square, because otherwise we're going to have to do the same thing again. Kind of don't want to do that. Yeah, they're really close to, to the to the square. There we go, they're broken. Let's break the last unit before they reach the square. No, we didn't do it. We didn't get to do it. Okay. Pull back. Pull back, guys. Remove the shield wall for now. Get back to safety. They're going to do a round two here. Move away a bit from the settlement. It was a close call there. Sadly, uh, they resetted all of them, which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, they're gonna fire at me again here. Let's. Uh... Yeah, but they still have guys in the square. Yeah, we need to kite away, guys. We need to have enough time to make sure that everyone gets broken. We don't want to kill every single guy because then we're gonna take losses. Yeah, we have one guy here that it seems to be quite kind of glitched out. I don't like this. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, is this going to be a battle that takes ages? It might just be. Because they're constantly resetting on the square every time. <laughs> Could definitely be one of those days. Okay, let's go for them. Let's go for them. We have the stamina to run. Let's go. Spears, you're going to run as well. You are shaken. That's because of their poison arrows, most likely. A lot of them are wavering. We still have this guy standing on the square, making sure that the game won't end. The battle won't end here. Uh, it's a bit, a bit tough. Broken. Go after them. Charge head on. I guess we could chase them. We have the movement speed to chase, so we could do that. There we go, they're getting broken straight away. Yeah, they're taking a different road to the square. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Yeah, we're taking some losses on the Hini down here. We don't want to to lose any commander this early. That would be the worst thing possible. Ah, they were, their chain bro broken. Again, this guy is not standing on the square. Maybe we can make them break this time. Come on. There we go. We did end it. We did end it. Okay, good. Good. End the battle. Heroic victory. 30 losses. Let's take a look at the kills. Hini Daud, 736 kills with those 16 missiles that they had per unit. So yeah, wonderful archer. And the other units got a lot of kills as well. Uh, the Woodland Spearmen held the line for us greatly. 92 kills as well, so they did perform. Everyone performed great. First battle, a heroic victory. I'll take that. There we go. Occupy the settlement, noise. Another region grabbed. We're still earning a bit of money. Uh, let's take this guy in. 38 years old. Um, yeah, let's take him. Uh, Dwarves of Erebor. Uh, diplomatic mission to talk to them. We're getting a diplomat. We're gonna talk to them and get some trade rights with those guys. I guess maybe this guy could stay here at Emun Nufuin, and we shall keep moving with these units towards the next region. Let's go for Erendolan straight away. Hopefully they will sally out. I really hope that they are. This is a castle. We don't want to go into this place. We definitely want them to sally forth. Otherwise we're gonna have take severe losses. A new mission, 750 gold coins with edible. Construction completed, Thranduil's Hall's Builder's Hall. We can afford the Master Builder's Hall here. We are going to go after it straight away. We can afford it here as well. Emun Nufuin, though, would be... Oh, the mines. Yeah, they're pretty decent, those mines. 
if we go for this one here, we won't be able to afford anything at Emin Nufuin. You know what? Let's go for something cheap. Let's go for the cheap grain exchange over at Taur Filin and Emin Nufuin. Let's go for the Builders Hall here. Yeah, let's go for that over there. A lot of extra units have been recruited. Gundabad did not attack the fort over there in the western part. Goblins of Moria and Nuin Vale. Some additional forces. Let's send in one of those archers into the fort over there. And we did get some additional forces here. We are going to recruit the other units as well. We are definitely going to need them. Prioritize the spears though. They're better than the axes. Get the spears, please. Follow me. Uh, upkeep is going up. Uh, a lot of construction has been done this turn. But I do believe that... Yeah, we're not earning too much money anymore. Definitely not. So, but... After we take Erin Dolan, we should be earning a bit more. A bit more money. It looks like they are... No, they're not recruiting any units. Uh, but uh, they have a sizable garrison. Let's go forwards. Let's take a look at Enethaur. A feisty rebel garrison in there. Let's move further south with the spy. Okay. Uh, the diplomatic will be done when we end the turn. Let's end... The turn. Again. Oh lordy lord. I am feeling quite terrible for restarting the campaign, just to let you know. Um, the mod that I played previously, Nicolas mod, was a great mod. It is a great mod. There has been a lot of work put into that mod. An insane amount of work has been put into that mod. Just want to say that. I would enjoy that mod privately, most likely. Uh, playing solo uh, without uploading it to YouTube but I would find it hard to make it the content engaging and exciting on a YouTube playthrough with that mod I think so that's the reason why I'm restarting there you go now you know the main reason okay uh, finances looks pretty terrible uh, we did start the Woodland Warriors here, so that's why we did lose a bunch of money. But we're not earning too much money at all at the moment. <laughs> we will receive some extra money though soon, because we are going to send the Diplomat over to Erebor and get some trade rights with them. Good. One more thing. I'm not going to ask for any money with the map information. Even though I could, I won't do it. Uh, it's actually really strong to be able to do that in the early game. We're not going to use that feature at all. Uh, Alliance. Yes. We should be earning a bit of money extra because we're trading with them. We are bordering them, but I'm not sure we're bordering them via any road. So maybe not too much money will be earned from the trade rights. If they take with the board, though, we should be earning a bit of money from them. Yes, my lord. Um, As you Dale, think. we are allied to. We don't need to talk to them. We have I everything we want from tomorrow. them. Let's walk down Tomorrow's towards the rune. They didn't attack me. Uh, we are going to wait for them to sally out. We don't want to to go in on a castle. Um, we c can we attack straight away? Yes, we can. I'm just going to double check and see what they have. Uh, Mercuriorux. Fighters, hunters, fighters and hunters. How about if we... Okay, we can't even remove them. Okay, keep them here then. Let these units stay here. We're gonna wait them out. Let's... Uh, let's end the turn again. Let's move the spy further south. Let's take a look at Dogledur. We're seeing some movement here. Ulairon and Lagoran is over there. Let's keep moving further south. And let's have a turn. Again. Trade rights. Yes, please. Alliance as well would be beneficial. There we go. Thank you for doing business. A pleasure. Noble Radagast. Noble Maya. Thank you so much for doing business with us. We like that. 
We need more trade rights. We need more money. A bit of money is being earned. 1k. Vangliftana. Uh, yes. Uh, take her as a wife. Absolutely. Take her. Construction complete. Builders all over at Emin the Fuin. We have 1k to spend. I think a cheap land clearance would definitely be the best thing here. Look at that. Excellent harvest. Yeah, it's actually pretty worthwhile. Let's go for the land clearance over at Emin the Fuin. We're definitely going to go want to go for the mines when we can. Uh, but we don't have the money to do that just yet. Recruitment completed. These guys are all of them. Yeah, they're free upkeep. We have five free upkeep slots here. So we can even recruit some more. Yes, as you wish. I shall continue tomorrow. We have done the initial recruitment. And if you look at the time for the next available forces, it's going to take some time. So we need to work with the things we have. We, we don't have too much. And there's going to be a long time until we can get more units. We've recruited everything. We can get these guys here, though. And we should get them. And pop them into a fort or something. Um, because we're going to need all of these guys. Uh, we could also maybe try and maybe get a stable somewhere. These are excellent horse archers. Six missile attack. Uh, that's really good. Glass cannons. Total defense of eight. They're going to drop quickly. Uh, this is the only cavalry unit we can get uh, early. So we need to get them. And also use them as a charging cavalry, even though they only have a charge bonus of th three. This is the only cavalry we can get this far. So we have to get them and use them as both horse archers and as charging cavalry. We should be able to get some more cavalry later, though. Let's just take a look. Yes. Arthirochon. Eight melee attack, eight missile, five charge, 14 total defense. Better horse archer, better charger. Better in prolonged melee combat. Inspires nearby troops as well. This cavalry unit though requires Thranduil's Halls or Amon Lank. Uh, so we can only recruit them in two locations. But it's a good cavalry unit. And should be used accordingly when we can get them. And looking into the future melee units we can get. Spearmen, Warriors, Woodland Wardens, Elder Council. This is a javelin unit effective against armor. Really good. Uh, they... Can they go for shield wall? I don't think so. It looks like they're spear on the shield after they're done with their javelins. And we get the Mythoretha wire. Effective against armor. 11 attack. Really good. And we get these guys. Elven King's Axe Guard. Boy oh boy. This is a... Oh, such a cool unit. Their shields are insane. Badass units. Really good. 10 attack, 26 defense, effective against armor. Really great at killing everything that they will fight. And we also get the Elven King's Gate Guard. 21 defense, 17 total attack. Absolutely bonkers. We can get that attack up to 21 if we get the experience chevrons and one of the bonus attack things that you can possibly get at the Warriors Guild. Melee weapon bonus. Yeah, this is the one we need to have. If we get this one and the experience, we should have an attack of 21. That's pretty insane. Alliance announced. Woodland Realm and the Anduin Vale. Yes, we did get the Alliance. Path blocked. Spy. Just, just spy over there. And can we get another spy? No, we cannot. Okay. It didn't change from the previous version that we tried it out on. Uh, just spy on Dogledur, take a look at that, and then return and spy in this area. We're definitely going to go, want to get some watchtowers, of course, in this area after we've taken Erin Dolan. Really would like to have two spies. One spy up here in the Gund Gundabad area. Good exchange will be completed in one turn. That should help us a bit with the finances, hopefully. So the turn again. A glorious king, Thranduilis. A glorious, mighty, elven commander, king. Leading his forces in the front line. 
even though he's acting king. That's heroism right there. Look at the money. We're not earning too much. Uh, we did finish off the Grand Exchange of Atarfilin. We cannot afford a single building here. So we need to be waiting a bit. We need to save some money in order to afford something. Maybe the next thing we're going to go after might be the Leather Tanner. It's a pretty cheap alternative that will yes, give extra income later. Get the diplomat down here. Just send him down. This is going to help with the finances. This building won't help with the finances, but it's going to help us in the future. Definitely. And if we take any Volan, that's also going to help a great deal with the finances. Some extra income, of course. Oh, of course. He's not free upkeep. He is not free upkeep. We need to make him free upkeep. I'm just going to take a look and see. Yeah, 283 coins we're going to save. So after the land clearance, uh, we are going to get the Hall of Song here. To make him free. That's going to save us a bunch of money. Hall of Song at Emenefuin is the next thing. Absolutely. Take a look at Dolguldur quickly. Kamul is in here. Really good commander. Uh, Aglara Corps along with some forces. And some other units. Send the spy up. I'm gonna... Should I stand him here or should I... No, just... Uh, oh, look at that. We have a pretty big army over there. Let's send him up to Gundabad territory. And let's end the turn again. We're just ending turns here. Trying to take rebel regions. And as soon as we take Dolan, we are going to start bordering Dol Guldur. So we might see some aggressive place there. We're still not at war with Gundabad. Which means that... They might not attack me for some time. But I'm sensing that they are going to try and attack me soon. I really do. Trade rights. We will take trade rights with them while we wait until they go aggressive on me. Which they will likely do. But we should earn a bit of extra cash because of that trade. We have 1k in the bank. We did just finish the Master Builders Hall. Leather Tanner. I think the Grain Exchange over here would be the best thing, honestly. Yeah, let's go for the Grain Exchange there. It's pretty cheap. Tarfalin, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait a little while. Isengard and Lothlorien are at war with each other. This is going to be done in one turn. Should help us a bit with the finances. And one more turn until they sally out. Just move the Diplomat up to the northern areas and move the diplomat the spy is going to move up in the northern areas and the diplomat is going to move down to Rune and then we are once again going to end the turn and hope that they busy or attacks us over at Erin Dolan and sally forth if they don't then we're getting a free settlement we shall see what the rebels decides to do sometimes they don't even put up a fight they just surrender and sometimes they do fight back. And this time they do fight back. Okay, good. Captain Shagduf, 1,188 soldiers against King Thranduil with his 401 units. Uh, well, piece of cake. Let's go in and take them out. Let's go. Let's destroy everything in our path. Okay, pull back. The towers are firing at us. So let's go back a bit. Uh, protect us from the towers. Uh, drop the ladders. Spears. Uh, can you stand over there? Please. Archers. Run back to this position. Quickly. Yeah, Once one more thing. I have a new mouse. So I can now double click far easier. My previous mouse that I had... Uh, clonked out when I clicked. Even though I double clicked, it made the units walk when I wanted them to run, and I want when I wanted them to walk, they sometimes decided to run because the, the right mouse button on that mouse was a bit broken. But I have a new one from HyperX, so hopefully that should 
should be better, and uh, I'm happy that they have a new... I also have a new headset with some better sound, and that's also great. It's always nice to update your things here and there sometimes, and a big major update still hasn't happened, uh, which is a new computer entirely. I need to have a new computer soon, because I, I can play the game, uh, Dawnless Days, I think it is called, the Lord of the Rings mod for Attila, but it wouldn't be looking great uh, when I, if I record it. It would be a bit laggy, uh, and it wouldn't look great on a YouTube video. So, when that is close to releasing, which I think it is at the moment, I really want to have the computer ready to record. I really want to play a campaign on Dawnless, Dawnless Days when it does release. Uh, the Lord of the Rings mod for Attila there. Really want to see how that is. It's going to be a totally new experience. I'm not sure exactly which faction I want to play on that uh, modification for Attila. I'm not yet sure, but uh, something, absolutely. Uh, Legolas, why don't you move forwards? Try and fire in the blob while they're grouped up. Don't take any unnecessary damage, though. I'm not sure what kind of faction I want to play on Dawnless Days. Um, there could be two years until they release it. I don't know. Or it could be two months. I, I have no idea. But I am looking forward to trying it out. Hopefully it's going to be a bit of a new Lord of the Rings Total War experience. Fire a few shots on the Merc with Uruks. You know what, let's go send these guys forth as well. While they're not grouped up accordingly, we can try and just weaken them before the battle begins. These guys are also running through the Merkwood Uruks here, so we're getting some free kills on them as well. Oh, they're blobbing up. Fire here. F focus this area. While they're blobbing up like this. Let's take a look at Legolas. He's standing over there. There we have him. The Prince of the Woodland Realm. With his two knives. You should be in range, firing the blob. They're not even grouped up accordingly yet, so let's just weaken them until they are. 22% killed. Legolas is getting so many kills, probably. There we go, they're beginning to move a bit. Uh, we can now switch focus to these spears. Hopefully they can blob up together with these guys. No, they're stopping over there. Okay. We're just getting so many kills on them. Without lifting a finger. Take a look at these glorious archers while they're firing their bows. Unleashing total carnage and death on these orcs. You can focus these archers down a bit, just weaken them. Yeah, they're still not out from the settlement. As long as they're not out, we can get all of these free kills on them. Let's just uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the spectacle that we're having. <laughs> oh, they're beginning to move. Some of their hunters are going forwards. Okay. Leogolas, I'm thinking you might just go in there and finish them off quickly in melee. They are wavering all We don't want to go into everyone, though. They're broken straight away. Good, 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 good. Move out, move out. Pull away. Here comes the rest of the units. Pull out Leogolas. You can stand over there, and I think we're going to send Thranduil into melee here. He's a beast in melee, so let's send him in. Use him as a melee powerhouse. Get in there. What do we have here? Orc fighters. Oh, they're running away from us, okay. Well, I guess we could just continue kiting instead then. Oh, no, we're going in. Go in, Thranduil. There we go, Thranduil is in combat against these guys. He's getting hacked by an orc. But he should be fine. I am not too worried. Pop the military as well. Where's Legolas? 
He's over there. He's fine. They're butchering some orc fighters. Thranduil. Uh, please get a kill. There we go. Nice work. Blam. Well done. You, you're continuing firing the spears. We are just going to send you in. Go and tie these guys up. Let's look at some of these, this fighting that is going on. The Arahirith are killing everything. Hacking every orc down with their mighty, mighty axes. You're getting stabbed in the back. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Po go forwards. Go forwards, guys. And help your king. Don't allow him being stabbed in the back like that. I don't like seeing that. It's a bit scary. He's actually really bloodied up already. So, it's a bit scary. Oh, you're out. Uh, Let's kill these guys then. Yeah, Thranduil is far safer now. He's actually facing the enemy now. We're destroying these orcs. They're broken. These guys are broken. Orc hunters. They have one unit inside. One unit is inside of the settlement still. I'm not sure where their commander is. Is he over there? No, we killed him. Okay, good. Uh, you go in there. Okay, they're broken, all of them. And uh, let's just form up over there. Thranduil. Stand over there. Fire at will at the enemy while they're retreating. Give them some volleys. We have another unit on the way. There we go. There. It's over. End the battle. Heroic victory. 23 losses. Let's take a look at the kills. Hinidaur. The most kills, as always. There we go. This area. There we go. There we go. Occupy the settlement. Erindolen is now ours. Enemy camp sacked. Look at that. We actually have some money in the bank. Good. Imlad is besieged. Uh, you are going for the grain exchange. Tarfilin. We're going to wait with that region. Erindolen. Over here. Can we afford? Yes, we can afford. Go for the uh, Hall of... Uh, where is it? Hall of Song over here to make the commander free upkeep. And over at Erindolen... Uh, what do we go for? How much will the land clearance give us? Poor harvest. It's actually going to give quite a lot of money. Uh, go for the land clearance first. Go for that first. It's a bit more expensive uh, before getting the builder sold, but we're going to go for it nonetheless. Okay, Legolas. Come, my I want you to return home. Go to Tarfilin. You're going to be the leading commander in this area. Look at that. We're already seeing some big armies uh, from Gundabad uh, in the western theatre here. So when they do attack me, it's going to be problematic. Legolas, go over there. Um, protect the western border. Thranduil. We can not get him out. Well then, I guess we're going to have to maybe transform... I think I did this the previous campaign as well. Get these archers into Eminifuin. Get him into Erendolen. There we go. Get some vision. I really want to visionize the entire border here with Thranduil. Thranduil is going to be the leading commander of this force here. Um, get the Hall of Song here then instead uh, before the land clearance. We really, really want to make this guy free upkeep. We're getting the Hall of Song here. We should maybe look into getting some military building here. Practice range perhaps. Later. A uh, great start though. We have taken the rebel regions that we wanted to take and uh, we are doing okay. Financially though, we are not doing too well. Uh, we're not earning too much money. Uh, but that's kind of what, what I was expecting playing against the Woodland Realm. You're not making too much money as the Woodland Realm. Send him further north. Spy on Gundabad for us. I'm more afraid of Gundabad than I am of Dol Guldur at the moment. Honestly. It's in the turn. Tomorrow's journey 
Yeah, I'm gonna try and make a bit of a long episode. Uh, maybe continue a few more turns before I end the first episode. To get you some extra content in the number one episode. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy that. Money-wise, how is it going to look? 1,400. And a thousand, two thousand gold coins. Oh lord, that's actually something I kind of want. But uh, it's going to make the border a bit more problematic with Dol Guldur. Because they're then going to be able to take both Erendol and Enethaur. But it's a lot of money. By the light of that would come in quite handy for us. 1.4k in the bank. Uh, how much extra would this give? Not worth it. Uh, Tarfilin. Leather Tanner Vineyard. Save the money. We're going to save all of the cash uh, for now. Do not Elves. spend it. Over here, Get over there. Get another Elves. sour. We must give up the road. Would like to have some vision over here as well. Everywhere we can, we, we need vision. My lord. Oh, let's, uh, yeah, no, oh, this is uh, Rebel Region. Let's try and talk to Dorwinion on the way down there as well. Get some treaties with them. How expensive are you, Leulas? I can't even see now, uh, can I? We can do this, though, to, to look. Uh, 500 gold coins per turn. E somewhere around that area. But he doesn't have full full units. Uh, we might want to look into maybe sending Leolas into a fort instead. But it's a bit risky, though. Because if Gunnabed attacks the fort, we're only going to have four units inside. I'm not sure I want to risk his life. We're likely going to keep him here for a time until we have enough strength to go on the offensive. Stay in there. Thranduil, you're just going to continue. We should get an additional guy spawned in soon as well. We have four regions and we're soon at turn number 10. Uh, we need to have 10 turns passed. So at the, turn, at the 11th turn, we should receive Orthordir to our nation. Uh, which is also going to be a nice boost. I'm not sure yet where he's going to be used. Is it going to be against Gundabad or is it going to be against Dolguldur? I'm not yet sure. But a fine addition. He will be. Definitely. Three grand in the bank. We have finished off all of the buildings. He is now free upkeep. That's excellent. It's going to save us some money. I really would like one more governor so that we can put one in maybe Thranduil's Halls or Emin Nufuin. Can we even get him? Can we get this guy out without them rebelling? Uh, we can. We can. Should we... 70%? That's... Uh, yeah, let's uh, keep it that. And let's send this guy into Thranduil's Halls. Keep them free upkeep. And uh, let's retrain this unit as well. Okay, building-wise. What do we want to get? We need to be careful here. We need to get something that is giving us a lot of worth for the money we're spending. No. Not the green exchange here. Mines is the best thing we could go for. We could wait one more turn uh, because then we should be able to afford the mines. I think we are going to do that. Let's wait an additional turn and start constructing the mines. That's going to be a nice cash injection when we finish it. Come, my brothers. Continued okay. Thranduil. Bring me towers, Stay bring me us. vision. We will need that one. There we go. Get back, visionize this area. The border here as well. There we go, we have a huge Darwinian army here. 
Yes, Let's no. talk to them. Oh, we did. Are we allied to them from the get-go? Yes, we are. Okay. Until we meet again. Okay. Well then, let's talk I to Ruin. Do that without question, as you wish. Let's send a turn again. Uh, we need to be careful at Emenufuin. We don't want it to go below seventy percent, of course, in public order. But for now, it's not even worth it having a unit inside, because it's just going to cost us money. And if we can keep it at 70%, then let's keep it at 70%. There we go. Orthordir returns. Orthordir has fought beside Thranduil's, Thranduil for centuries, and was there at the death of Orofer in the Battle of the Last Alliance. In the waning days of the Third Age, he stands as Thranduil's chief military advisor, and has long given stout counsel to both the king and his son. As the Woodland Realm now extends its guiding hand out into the depths of the forest, more and more skilled commanders are called upon, and none is better than Orthordir. He will lead his retinue proudly and ensure the Greenwood rises again. He has returned, the great commander, the great fighter that is Orthordir. Let's take a look at him. He of course he comes with the um, Elven King's Gate God. 19 attack, 22 defense. He does have the attack boost and some experience. And if we get more, we can get his attack up to 21. He yeah, wonderful addition. Cannot be broken. Skilled against mounds as well, that's really nice. He's going to be a cavalry killer or a war destroyer. Yeah. A wielding distinctive double bladed glaives, these heavy infantry make short work of almost any enemy infantry and they will fight to the bitter end to ensure the survival of the wooded lands they hold so dear. This is a great addition. Really great addition. He is costing us a fortune though. He's costing us a lot of money. 585 coins per turn. Pop him into the fort for now. Sentinel of the Woodland Realm. Command. Line of sight. Movement points. Okay. We have the money to start the mines. Let's get the mines at Emma Nefoin. 70% public order. Get the mines. We have one more K to spend. Bend. I'm thinking the most worthwhile building to get is the Builder's Hall over at Erin Dolan, because we can afford them, so let's get them. The and get him over, here, over there to get Favor. some towers started. More vision. Okay. Where do we go? Should we go after Anathaur? I didn't show you this, I think. Elven Union, 45 turns in, we need to be allied with Lorien, and if we're allied to them, after 45 turns, we should receive a message, and we're going to try and accept the uh, the alliance with them, of course. Elf. Yeah, maybe we should look into maybe getting Anathar later, because we have the mission. Sire. Get the towers first, the though. Uh, can we get him out? Elf. Yes, we can. Uh, you know what? Thranduil, get in there, and we're just going to use this guy to save some time. It's going to cost us a bit of extra money, but... Uh, yeah, go back, and you're going to finish it off over there. There we go. Your order. If only I could. Stopping here. Where's my spy? He's over here. Send him further north. Let's take a look at these Gundabad armies. Send a turn again. A lot of ending turns. The turns are going by quite fast as the Woodland Realm in the beginning. Not too much fighting yet. There will be fighting though. Soon. Hopefully. I really hope so. Okay. Mission expired. Oh, it's already over. We, we were just ending turns so f fast. So <laughs> it's... It's already over. Well, hopefully we will receive a new mess, uh, a new Science. mission soon. Like the wind, elves. Over here, elves. Elves, 
in the turn report, 1,400 gold coins. We're getting the builders, we're getting the mines, Thranduil's halls. Over here, we can go for the market or the leather tanner. Go for the leather tanner over at Thranduil's halls. We could maybe actually, yeah, get it here as well. It's going to boost the income with 80 gold coins when both of those are finished. So let's get them both. Try and produce buildings at all yes, times if we can. As you wish. Yes, as you go over there. Talk to Ruin. I shall okay, tomorrow. okay. The Get the final down. tower, and then maybe wait for a new mission. It's a pretty big garrison in here at Anathar. Yeah, I'm not sure. We might want to go for Erin Ruinen first. Honestly, this is also Dolguldu territory over here. Marches of the Northmen. Erin Ruinen this region here and then another I maybe Dolguldur is the place to focus first and just try to defend against Gundabad maybe that's the best thing to do honestly maybe it is we are going to send this new commander when we decide to launch the offensive somewhere this guy is gonna join that offensive definitely he's a good guy good Units, absolutely. And Win Vale. We are allied to each other. What do you want? Okay, it was just a weird bribe attempt, I guess. <laughs> There is a lot of movement with the Gundabad units. Uh, no movement in my territory though. Yes, yes, yes. Take him in. Eastlings of Rune. Yes, we did get a miss mission with them. Perfect. Uh, you are going into Emin Nefuin. There we go. Free upkeep. We're gonna, he's going to earn us some money in there. Perfect. Really happy that we did get him. Come, my brothers. Get a tower here as well. Good. We have now visionized the entire front line. Thranduil, I guess we are going to be on the offensive soon. We're likely going to empty Thranduil's halls with some of these units. We're going to take this guy with us. It's going to cost us a fortune though. It's really tough going aggressive as the Woodland Realm because you don't have the finances to, to do it properly. As soon as we empty Thranduil's halls, we're going to lose so much money. Erin Dolan Builders Hall, uh, Mines is still on the way, Leather Tanner, Leather Tanner. Erin Dolan, Financial Things, Land Clearance, let's go for that. Let's go for the Land Clearance, save the rest of the money. Let's make sure that we get this mission yes. completed as well. Yes. Try and talk to as Rune. Approaching their Get over there and talk to them as soon as we can. Toggle during day are at war with each other. Okay. Oh, Prince Legolas uh, got the Dwarven friend. Gardener as well. Farming, public health. Uh, minus 2% construction cost and plus 2 mining income. Yeah, that's a really good one. That's a really good one. That is a great one. Come, my brothers. Maybe just go into the fort for some time. Okay, we are going to be aggressive after the, this turn. I'm going to end it now. After this turn, we're going to try and get some buildings done uh, in a few regions. And then we're going to send out the guys from the fort. And maybe even the... Commander, I'm not sure that we want to send him out yet though. He's too expensive, I think. Might want to keep him in a fort for the time being. He's just just so expensive. Imlad is besieged again. Okay, let's take a look at the construction report. Leather Tanner. We finished it. Let's focus on Thranduil's Halls first. This is the, the most, the region with the most money-making potential, I think. This will give us 
about 90 gold coins. I think the market will be most worthwhile to get public fountains is not going to help in any way. Ballista maker stables would be interesting to get as well so that we can get some additional cav. Go for the market though, go for the market and over at Town Fillin Vineyard we could go for we could go for the next tier leather worker as well. I'm not entirely sure. We could, of course, we're going to do the mission as well. We could afford something more than... Let's make sure that we do the mission yes, with Rune. Get trade rights for. with them. There we go. Go south. Without question. Mission Stop success. Okay, we should be able to afford something better at Tarfilin then. Hopefully something. Maybe the market here as well. Just double checking here. sure yeah land communal farming is more expensive but it's gonna make the place grow in the end I think they are helping with the growth so I th yeah I go for the farms go for the farms here and uh, hope that yeah, I think it's going to be better in the long run to go for the farms. Let's go for them. You're going to pop into a fort for now while you're waiting for these guys to join. I want the archers. I want the spears and the javelins. Send them forth. Send them forth. Oh, Dol Guldur has taken Enethar, I think. Yes, they have. They've taken it already. They have taken it. Oh, my goodness. They took it fast. They did. Elves. Should we get this guy with us? I am not sure he's going to cost us so much. Wait in the fort until Elves. these guys arrive. Let's take a look and see how much money we're going to earn with those guys being outside. If we still earn a bit of money, we might take authority out of, uh, of the fort. We need to get keep getting some financial buildings though before we before we can really move too uh, too aggressive. Uh, we really don't have the money to, to do anything offensively. Okay, we're still earning a tiny tiny amount of money, and we are producing buildings in every region that we are owning currently. It's a waste putting Legolas in this region at the moment, but we are not allowing them to be at the same front line at the same time, so we're not going to use him. Yeah, he's not going to be free upkeep when we get him out, and that's going to cost us a lot of money as well. Oh, wait, what do we do? What do we do? Should we wait? Should we try and turtle a bit more up until turn maybe 20, 25, until we start going offensively to get some more buildings done? I th honestly think that that might be the best thing to do here. Uh, you know what, we are going to turtle. These three units are going to go to Thranduil's fort, though. And you're going back to Thranduil's halls. I think that turtling a bit would help. We could go total aggression, though, and go after Enethaur or Erin Runen. We could take this place fairly easily. Absolutely, we could. Same with this app. Maybe we should go after this place. I'm not sure. I'm going to end the episode here, though. I hope that you've enjoyed. I really do hope so. We're having financial difficulties at the moment. We're trying to better it by getting farms uh, everywhere and some mines here. That's going to be finished in one turn. It should help us a bit. Uh, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the content. If we get up to 1k likes with the end... Uh, one week after this episode has been released, I'm going to release a really, really long episode. Have a great day, guys. Goodbye to you all.